What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cat Life here bringing you another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video and today we are going to be playing the Link Regulation event once again but this time we're playing Umi Control. Now Umi Control is actually not too bad in this event. The only issue you will have against is with Marinsis to be honest but other than that you will do fine. Now um, as you can see this is what we're playing. If I had three copies of Foolish Burial Goods I would play it that way I could go ahead and toss out are three copies of ice barrier but then again i don't have three of that either but i would play three of these and three of these but because i can't i'm playing two each now this deck is really good you don't really require your extra deck at all i am playing though land for whatever right just because it's a cyberist monster and it will go well with transco talker that way i can go ahead and use this to summon this out and then we can go to access code if that ever does come up but most likely it's not going to come up because you're just going to go ahead and floodgate them but anyways guys if you guys like the channel please hit the like button and also please um subscribe to the channel if you have not already also uh if you guys want to go ahead and comment on the channel please do i love responding to comments especially the people that love to go ahead and call me a glue eater yeah i don't know why you guys do that i don't know what glue y'all think i eat but <laughs> whatever but anyways guys thank you all enjoy the video peace all right so we are going to be going first and i'm going to go ahead and start off with the warrior of the atlantis this is going to allow us to grab ourselves a legendary ocean now with our legendary ocean we can start some pretty cool looking plays because our hand is kind of looking nice so let's just go ahead and put our electrical jellyfish on the field and then we're going to go and throw in perm face down as well and finally our sea stealth now um at this point we do have the Kai Shin, which is going to be really busted for us. Let's see what they end up doing, though. What do they do? OK, it looks like we are going to be playing against some Sky Strikers. I'm probably going to let this go through, to be honest with you. Because I what I want to negate is probably going to be the uh, Okay, perfect. So, what we can do is activate Kaioshin. They're probably gonna go ahead and activate their Ray. And from here, summon this out. And then we can also go ahead and summon out Hmm. Probably another, probably a Kraken. And here comes our gear. And then let's go see stealth as well. And from here, we could just go ahead and activate our legendary ocean. So at this point, they are floodgated. They can't really do anything about this unless they have like the power of, you know, uh, what do you what do you want to call that card? <sighs> trying to remember if they have Widow Acre, they could go into Shizuku. Shizuku, though, isn't going to cut it. OK, they are going to end the main phase what are they looking to take out what are they looking to take out okay well we can activate now our doom kraken doom kraken will return to us and we can go ahead and negate this with electrical jellyfish So they're just going to go ahead and scoop because there's nothing they, they can do. <laughs> Yo, this deck is too good, guys. Link Festival Climbing Rank. Diamond Rank, by the way. All right, so round two, and we open up with a maxi. Ooh, are we going to get some live twins? All right, let's see what we can do. Let's go in and hit that early. Let's see. Are they able to stop this? I don't think they are. Okay. 
so they're not able to stop the power of maxi which means we are going to get a a draw early do they end up continuing their plays though that's the question that is going to be the question yeah i figure i feel like they probably just end there i ain't gonna lie that's that's actually pretty smart oh we do get ourselves a jellyfish okay so from jellyfish just gonna go and summon that onto the field and then from there i'm gonna go and activate our legendary ocean so now we do have ourselves a negate from here i'm gonna go and send this into the graveyard that way we can summon out our gear a giga So we're looking, we're looking, we're looking pretty good here. And then we also do have um, fantastical for later. So we can just go ahead and attack this. We are going to take some damage. That's fine. And then we could just go ahead and get rid of this as well. I do wonder why we could not negate that. I guess because it's a passive effect and this only negates like a effect like the effect of an effect i don't know it's kind of weird it's like negate that effect not the activation yeah okay so here we can activate jellyfish so that's what we're gonna do this is going to negate it okay they they are gonna hit us with an imperm and we're just gonna go and imperm back so either way, this was going to get negated. And now with that negated, I don't think they end up doing anything here. Okay, they can activate this though. Oh, they do play nib, huh? Let's see. Let's see. What do we do here? I don't want to use. I don't want to use this because we would lose our Umi. Is it Umi or is it Umi? We'll lose our Umi, right? It's it's one of those. <laughs> um, but we do have fantastical. So there goes key. I'm just going to hold off on this. Hopefully they don't have an ash, but let's be honest. They probably do. Okay. There they go. Hmm. Okay, there goes the other one. And so they should re they should summon it here. And then we can activate Fantastical. So let's go and activate that now. Let's see, do they have Ash? I don't think they do. Put that in attack mode. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So we can get rid of our. We can we can get rid of the jellyfish and probably the ice barrier, right? That's what I'm thinking, because we can keep we can keep Gamma Cell if we need to go ahead and tribute out their their card. And then if they target us as well, we also have a negation. So let's see, what do they end up doing? You know what? Now that I think about it, we probably should have <laughs> we probably should have what's it called? We sh we should have kept we should have kept uh the ice ice shade.
what do they end up doing here? Okay, main phase. I wonder if they go after the... Okay, they are going to go after this one. I think they get to draw a card off of this. I can't remember. No, they... We lose attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so they, they are planning to take us out. They are planning to take us out. Let's see. What are they? What are they going for? They're going for the Ummy. Okay. So well, since they're going for Ummy, we might as well get rid of Ummy right here, right now. And then we can go ahead and summon. So from here, we can't use this effect, which does suck. We can summon out that. We can summon out our Kraken. And they're not going to be able to take this down. They can only take down our jellyfish. However, we can do this. And we can we can literally stop the attack. Ooh, they they have a droplet. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so droplet will go ahead and Oh, wait, what what else are they drop? They're using on two What's the other card? It doesn't even matter. It didn't even matter, man. <laughs> because they played it in the imperm spot. Their own imperm spot. I, I'm going to be honest. I actually forgot that uh, I also played imperm this turn. So that's kind of funny. Okay. All right. So it is our turn. Let's see. Oh, we get a sea stealth. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tribute this. Get this off the field. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, let's see. Huh. We don't have to do that. We can, however, just put him in attack mode. And then from here, we could actually kind of floodgate him. Yeah, we could do that. Activate C stealth. So by activating C stealth, we could go into you. And let's go ahead and attack. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right. And then we get rid of this right here. Now that is going to get destroyed. Now at this point, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I really hope that they don't have an imperm. If they if they don't have imperm, we should be good to go. So let's go in a money. Activate it of Anemone's effect. And we can summon out our jelly. And then from jelly, we could go into. Huh, what can we go into? I I, I don't know why I thought Anemone could summon out <laughs> Dragon Lord. It's, he's too he's too strong. Dang it. I wasn't thinking. I was not thinking. What? What can we do? I guess we just end our turn. Either way, we do. We do have a negate. We have a negate. We have a spell in a, in a monster negate. So we should be fine. 
Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we should be fine. They're gonna, oh, they're just going to end their turn. They have nothing. Let's go. And now we get ourselves a legendary ocean. And that should be GG's. That should be it right there. Right there. Yeah, I don't I don't think we need to do anything else. Let's just go. Go ahead and attack. Four hundred life points they are left with, man. Four hundred life points they are left with. Uh if only we had like C Stealth. C Stealth would be going crazy right now for us. Alright, what do they do? Do they just scoop? <laughs> yes, they do. Let's go. See, even without C stealth, bro, we're still cooking. Let's get into the next match. Heck is going on here. Why would he summon out Max C? He must be really desperate to get an Amirage card onto the field. So probably has I'm gonna assume they're probably playing salads. Oh no, they're playing co talkers. Okay. All right. So if we were going first, I'm gonna be honest. We had a really good hand. There goes Dotscaper. They're probably gonna end up ending on. Uh, I'm gonna assume, right? They're probably end up ending with. I'm trying to remember what that card is called. The fire one. The fire attribute. Yeah. Here we go. Heat so. I wonder if they ended up getting their uh, sign a conflict card. That's what I'm wondering if that might be sign a conflict right there. If it is, I'm going to be so sad. Okay. They do get this. Uh, at this point, I guess we just go ahead and summon out jellyfish from jellyfish. We activate legendary ocean. And then we can go ahead and activate fish sonar. Okay. There goes Maxi. We can actually negate that. Now, unless this is what I think it is, right? They sh if it's sign a conflict then we're going to be getting banished if it's not. Oh, they have they have the power of Baylor. OK, well, that's fine. We don't even do that much special summoning anyways. So we do get negated here, which is completely it's it's completely OK. If I say so, let's see. Uh, We can grab you. And then from here, we're just going to summon this out. So we can attack over him now, at least draw and lock. That's fine. We don't we don't plan to add any more cards, so we're cool in that as well. So let's just go ahead and attack. Look at this vanilla monsters beating out. He so love to see it. And then what we could do here. Go ahead and play these three cards face down. So not not bad. Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn. So I was I was hoping that wasn't conflict, and we happened to be correct. It was not conflict. We ended up being okay. They're just gonna go ahead and scoop as <laughs> that's gonna be GG's. Well, anyways, guys, thank you all for tuning in. Um this deck is really good. As you can see, like if you could just get like the full combo in your hand, you literally shut anyone down the only the only one you're not beating i'm sorry is just marinsis they don't care that you're locking them into only water type because it's pure water obviously but yeah thank you all for tuning in i hope that you guys enjoyed the video i'm signing out peace